Hi there. Uh, this is Marina with uh, Lily Grace Sparkle Crochet. Uh, today is Sunday, uh, January what 15th, uh, 2023. I'm sitting in the car and waiting for my um, daughter. She has um, a school choir concert today and wrapped her off for warm-up practice and then parents can go in in about one hour so i have an hour of time so i'm just sitting here in the car doing some crocheting i'm working on the baby blanket and i wanted to let you know that i'm kind of very excited about the organization cause i found out just recently by watching one of the youtubers i'm watching the organization is called warm up america i want to donate to the cause or organization that is actually in need and will use the items that I uh, can donate to them. So this organization is, from what I found out, um, an umbrella organization who distributes the knitted and crocheted items to uh, local hospitals, uh, nursing homes, hospice, uh, there's natural disaster events, and other causes that uh, be in need for um, crochet and knit items, foster cares and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, it is a, a great uh, organization to work with and I um, accept many items, different items you can donate to a special cause or just uh, donate to uh, Warm Up America and um, they will take whatever you provide it and find an organization who need, who is in need for this specific item. I'm pretty excited about too that you can use your yarn stash to use up um, your yarn leftovers or maybe yarns you are not so much or don't maybe you bought it a while ago and you don't have a specific project in mind and kind of like um, you want to use it but you don't have something in mind that working on and you want it gone from taking space you can make um, seven inch by nine inch rectangular pieces um, and send them whatever how many however many pieces you can make and send it um, they'll take it and they have volunteers at their organization who can put those pieces together and make like baby blankets, lap guns, head blankets, whatever size they need for a specific, uh, specific need. So that's pretty neat, I think. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to busting my yarn stash and working on some to donate. Um, uh, also, I have been thinking about teaching younger girls um, crocheting or knitting, maybe organizing a little group in our church. And my thought was um, when I teach them to work on a certain project to donate. So uh, that would be uh, one of the things we can do, uh, either do the squares or they can also use um, hats, beanies, scarves, uh, full size blankets, whatever you can and want to make, um, they accept those. So I'm thinking about on some projects like that to um, donate and I'm very excited because I have been looking for an organization like that uh, for quite a while so I am gonna link put the link down in description and you are neither or crocheter and if you are looking for an organization to donate to if you have um, some items projects laying around that nobody want it or you didn't maybe you're not quite satisfied with to gift it or sell it but you want to give it to somebody who will love and use it that is a good place to give I think in my opinion so uh, that's definitely what I will be doing so if you are interested definitely follow the link or you can uh, message me and we can 
um, create a campaign together so we can um, and in the name of uh, one campaign and they count the pieces and tell us how many uh, from one group how many pieces we've got to a certain us um, or um, organization that they were helping so i'm going to be doing if you want to join me let me know uh let me know what you're thinking about some uh, project like that and if um this information has been helpful for you i'm looking forward to working on the future projects i'm looking forward on hearing from you i hope you're having a good day bye love you